obviously, BIK registrations have opened now and people are starting to practice to get their three lap times in and things like that. But where did your karting journey start? Obviously, you won BIK last year, but where did your actual passion for karting start? Wow, well, um, going way back to when I was 14, so I'm, wow. I'm one of the oldies now doing, doing this sort of thing, uh, scarily. <laughs> and uh, time's gone very fast, but yeah, I started when I was 14, just going to indoor tr uh, kart tracks. Team sport wasn't so big back then, um, so I just went to like a random local one. Didn't have any of the members' nights like you do now and things like that. So it's really good to new people coming into the sport can get up to speed a lot quicker because you've got people that you can race against every Monday and Thursday. So it's really good. But yeah, I just started there and then, of course, was immediately quite good. Um, so the, the staff invited me back. Then it progressed to doing like indoor championships um, and then I went on and did um, outdoor karting and was quite successful in that so you know did my local uh, club championship in uh, in two stroke carts okay. and came third in that and then did some uh, more serious international events and, and did semi-finalists in the world championships over there so wow. yeah that, that's where my mm. career went and then i went and did club 100 yeah. uh, and i won the club 100 championship in 2015 okay. um and yeah then i just eventually you know work took over adult yeah, life yeah, goes yeah. up and ended up started doing a bit more indoor again yeah. and um indoors you know where you start and it's great competition really close um, and because it's so accessible you do get lots of talent coming in at the lower end so it's yeah. every tenth of a second counts yeah and how has kind of BIKC been for you like the journey of BIKC from starting to, to obviously winning it well l last year it was it was pretty emotional when I won I mean I've, I say I've done karting for a long time and yeah. when I won that race even though it, it's I've raced at what you would call a higher level um, in terms of MSUK stuff and things that was it because it started several months earlier and all the time traveling and things like that a lot of commitment. it was um, yeah it was a lot of commitment yeah. and I put a lot of time in and the time pay, you know putting the time in actually paid off because um, I only won it by a margin um, and it was it was just pure defensive driving that I ended up winning it so mm. yeah that's that was it and for someone like you know fall back to your 14 when you were 14 someone thinking about starting karting or isn't sure what, what advice would you give them go down to a local team sport track for sure try it out and um, if it's something you enjoy doing, then carry it on. Um, don't feel the need or pressure to, to suddenly you know, try and compete with your friends. If it's something that you enjoy doing, then definitely go, yeah. go for it um, and start coming down on a Monday night. Um, mm. I, I would advise Mondays first, because yeah. the Thursdays are really competitive uh, yeah. on the Thursday night. So Mondays, it's nice and relaxed. You get three sessions and you can just start building up your speed. Mm. Anyone entering BIKC this year, whether it's the, the back to the locals, obviously, if they progress the regionals or the nationals, you know, any advice for them how to deal with the pressure and the nerves and, and that kind of stuff? Because it must be very nerve-wracking. Yeah, you've got to you know, blank out the cameras or your parents watching or, you know, <laughs> the live stream and things like that. Um, so it's really just take race by race. Um, that's what um, more experienced drivers that I look up to, that's what they've taught me is you've got to just focus on your next race so don't don't think about anything else mm. and then focus on putting the lap together so you know obviously for BIKC it's qualifying that matters so you've got to really focus make sure you've practiced and make sure you know exactly where you put in the cart and if you think oh someone might tell you oh that cart's not very good or you know blank it out and just mm. do the best job you can yeah and what's next for you? I know you said adult life has got in the way and you're back to kind of indoor karting, but yeah. what's next for you? Um, oh, that's a good question. <laughs> um, I'd like to, I'm probably going to do some more international rental karting. Uh, it's quite, rental karting is quite big in Europe. Okay. And, and um, so I want to progress in that and, and try and get a higher world ranking in the rental scene. Mm. And then obviously continue to do BIC once a year. It's always good just to, you know, keep your hand in it at something like that when mm. when you've done it for so long and also you make friends here yeah. and, and it's good social events so. think you can win BIKC again this year yeah i do yeah, yeah. I think I can win. good love the confidence <laughs> yeah yeah i mean i've i've just i'm, I'm you know it's uh it's never a given yeah, so yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not that sort of confident but yeah, yeah i'm in with a chance for sure yeah. get ready to send it the 2023 british indoor karting championship qualifying begins from the 1st of june to 31st of august with 175 local champions 45 regional champions and five national champions your track needs you 
Register now at BIKC.co.uk. BIKC 2023 in association with Team Sport Karting and Motorsport UK.